Hi friends, I am so excited to see you today. Now let's get our engine started and get ready for our wiggle stance. I'll race you to the finish line. I'll race you to the finish line. Step right up, come on, it's time. On your mark, get set, and go! Punch the gas and drive. Punch the gas and drive. Spread your wings and fly. dancing friends now it's time to learn our main point for today but first I need your help finding it it's behind the letter R for race car so let's go see if we can find it okay friends we need to find the letter R is this the letter R no that's the letter B okay is this the letter R no that's an S but I feel like we're getting close let's keep looking okay is this the letter R? Yes, good job, we found the letter R. Now let's see what our main point is for today. Our main point is, I will not give up when things go wrong. Now let's put some motions together with this. So when we say I, you point to yourself and say I will not, we're gonna shake our fingers like this and say will not. And for give up, you're gonna put both hands in the air and you're gonna push them down to the side. And when things go wrong, you're just going to do this with your arms. So let's do it all together really slow at first. So I will not give up when things go wrong. Now let's say it a little bit faster on the count of three. One, two, three. I will not give up when things go wrong. Good job, friends. Now, to learn even more, let's go check in with Olivia Gears and the Guy Handsome Racing Team. Hello, Guy. Oh, hello there, Kimmy. You seem quite chipper this, <laughs> this morning. <laughs> Are you ready for another great race today? <laughs> oh, yes, I, I am. Guy, can you tell me where we're racing today? Well, I, uh, 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 I, don't, I don't actually know. Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'll be fine. I just have a bit of a cold, but I should be fine too. Is this room spinning? Um, no. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm... I'm fine! Well, um, do you know what I'm supposed to do with the Anything Mobile? Or what kind of race we're having today? No, I... I don't know. Well, where's Team Captain Olivia? Uh, she's over... Uh, uh, I don't know that either. I think you should go find someone to help you feel better. Go on. Yeah, that's go a good on. idea. Go. I don't think that even I can drive like this. What a crazy morning. Whew. I hope nothing else goes wrong. Sorry I'm late. I've never been to China before and I got lost. Oh, so we're in China. But where are we exactly? We're on the Great Wall of China. It's a 3,889 mile long wall in northern China. Wow, what kind of race will we be racing in? This week we're racing in a sail car race on the Great Wall. Wow! Wait, where's Guy? Wow, he was sneezing and coughing a lot. 
so he went to go find some help. Oh dear, I better go find him. If Guy's too sick, then he can't race. Olivia, wait! Yes? What am I supposed to do with the anything mobile? Oh, there's a sail and some rope in that box over there. It needs to be attached to the top of the anything mobile to make it a sail car. Kids, can you help Kimmy remember to put the sail on top of the anything mobile? Yes! Great! I've got to go find Guy. But, but how am I... No, never mind. Well, let's see. There's the box, and it needs to go over here. This place sure is a mess because Guy kept knocking things over. Oh! Ah, ah. If I could just get on tape! Oh. Still getting tank! Oh! oh. oh. Uh, I need to untangle myself. What else could go wrong? Ah! Oh. Oh, I can't believe this. First, Guy is sick. And then Olivia is late. And then Guy may not even be able to race. And now I'm trapped in this bucket tangled in a rope. Everything is going wrong today. I give up. I'm not doing this anymore. We found someone to help Guy, so he'll feel better soon. Turns out all I needed was a snack and some medicine. How can I help you with... Kimmy? Kimmy, where are you? Kids, where's Kimmy? She's in the bucket. In the bucket? Ki Kimmy, how, how did you get in there? Let me help you out. Wh Why were you sitting in a bucket? Why didn't you get it off your head? Because I gave up. You gave up? Why? Because everything was going wrong. Kimmy, even if things are going wrong, you should not give up. I have a Bible story that I think will help you understand. Our Bible story starts out with a man named Paul. Paul was sailing on a ship to Italy with a bunch of sailors. On the way, they encountered very strong winds that tossed the ship back and forth. It was becoming dangerous to sail. The captain of the ship turned the ship around and headed to the island of Crete. Paul knew if they continued sailing to Crete, bad things would happen. He told the captain that if they continued that way, it would be dangerous, but the ship kept on sailing. The storm got worse and it lasted for many days. It was so bad that the sun and the stars were completely blocked out. Everyone on the boat was getting ready to give up. Even though things were going wrong, Paul didn't give up. He gathered the men on the ship and told them an angel of God had told him everyone on the ship would be safe. On the 14th night of the storm, the sailors could tell the land was near. But there was a problem. They were going too fast towards the land and they would soon crash. The sailors wanted to leave the ship, but even though things were going wrong, Paul didn't give up. He told the sailors to stay on the ship, and then he told them all to eat. He passed out some bread and gave thanks to God. The ship finally crashed into an island, but everyone was safe. Things were getting pretty bad for Paul and all the other men on the ship, but Paul never gave up. When things are going wrong, you may feel like giving up too, but you shouldn't. I see. You know, even though Guy got sick, and you were late, and I got all tangled up, I see now that I should be like Paul and not give up. That's right. You need to continue doing the tasks, even when things go wrong. Now, we need to hurry up and finish the Anything Mobile. Yeah. Well, I feel better thanks to the race doctor who helped me. 
I will be able to race now. Great timing. We were just about to finish the Anything Mobile. But through all of the crazy things that happened today, I can't remember where the sale goes. Kids, does the sale go on top of the Anything Mobile or on the bottom? Top. Great, thanks. Now let's get it finished. That was a great story. There were a lot of things that went wrong on Paul's journey, but he did not give up. And we're learning that today too. Let's say our main point together on the count of three. One, two, three. I will not give up when things go wrong. Great job, friends. Now, I want you to imagine that you are painting and coloring a beautiful picture for your mom, and you worked really hard on it, and you're almost done. But you're thirsty, so you go to grab your juice. And as you go to drink your juice, you spill it all over yourself and the painting that you made for your mom. You're so upset because you worked really hard, and it was almost finished, and you want to give up. But then you remembered what you learned in church today, that I will not give up when things go wrong. So you decide to get a new piece of paper and get started all over again. And that's so good because that means you have learned our main point for today. I will not give up when things go wrong. But it doesn't end there. There's also a great verse in the Bible that helps us learn more about this. And it's found in Galatians 6, 9. Say it with me, Galatians 6, 9. Good job. So Galatians 6, 9 says, so never get tired of doing what's good. And it's such a good Bible verse to remember. And I want you to go over it with your parents throughout your week. Once again, Galatians 6, 9. I will not get tired of doing what's good. And you can make it personal for yourself. You can say I. And I want you to do that. I will not get tired of doing what's good. And before we leave, let's do our main point one more time together on the count of three. One, two, three. I will not give up when things go wrong. Good job, you guys. I had so much fun with you today, and I cannot wait to see you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye.